Greetings, explorers. Welcome back to another Explorers Emporium STEAM Science and Nature workshop. Today we are going to be talking about a gentleman's experiment from almost 200 years ago, uh, Sir Frederick William Herschel, who was born back in 1738. Uh, he's very famous for discovering uh, Uranus, one of our planets, back in 1781. And then in the year 1800, he went on to discover a thing called infrared light. And so today we're going to be doing an experiment that is going to be measuring heat off of color in light. But first we're going to talk a little bit about um, setting up a science experiment. So when you do science experiments, a lot of times you have to think ahead of what might happen. And you have to learn to construct your science experiment not to include other elements that might affect your experiment. So we're going to work really hard today to try to isolate a few things as we're measuring heat and sunlight so that certain other elements do not affect the experiment that we're actually doing. Okay? So, for today's experiment. Today we are going to be measuring light coming down, hitting colors, and we're going to be measuring the temperature of the light heating up the different colors of paper. And we're going to expect that each color is going to have a little bit different temperature to it. Okay? So, one of the things that we're going to need to know is to understand how the eye sees color. So when we look at a color, like perhaps green, when we see green, that is not the green light hitting it. That's the light being reflected back at us. So in other words, um, if I had the color green, green is made up of yellow and blue. So yellow and blue hit that surface, and they bounce back, and they go into the cones of our eyes. Okay? So our eyes have these little cones in them. The red, though, goes into the, into the color, it goes into that surface. So it is absorbed. The red goes in, and the blue and the yellow, making green, gets reflected back. Our eyes are designed to see that light reflecting back into our eyes and goes into the cones. You have three different types of cones that basically one is designed to see the very short wave of a blue color, so light is waves, so you see that little short wave with the one cone. You have another cone that is designed to see more of a green color. You would think yellow, but there's so much blue in our environment that the, they kind of get a mix, and so you have a, a cone that's designed to take in a green color, a mixture between the yellows and the blues. And then we have another cone, which is designed to take the really long wave of the red. So red's a longer wave. We have a cone designed to accept that wave. So our, our cones pick up these different colors, and then our brains put them together for us, which is really awesome. So for our experiment today, we will need some just basic construction paper. So we're going to make our own little rainbow in effect. So we've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, some purple. So this is basically the, the rainbow colors, right? And we're going to be putting them down onto a board in order to do our experiment. So one of the things we have to also know is we have to have a few givens. We're going to be measuring temperature and we're trying to control that environment of the different uh, aspects that we don't want to interfere. One of the things we know is that white surfaces out in the sunlight have a tendency to be cooler than black surfaces. So we're going to take a moment to test that one thing to give us a given to work off of. Okay, so a given is something that we know can be proven true. So we're going to take a thermometer, so one like this. Uh, this one here, you can just aim and target and shoot and take the temperature off of surfaces from anywhere where that laser can hit. So it's kind of a cool little device. So I'm going to go out and take the temperature of asphalt, 
so a street or pavement, and then I'm going to take the temperature of concrete, cement, okay? So the asphalt will be black, the cement will be an almost white. Now that we've done that, we have seen for a fact that the black surfaces like asphalt and parking lots are definitely hotter, the concrete was definitely cooler. So we see that as, as for sure. So now, we're going to recreate Sir Frederick William Herschel's experiment uh, from, from, eight, from the 1800s, where he began to realize that light could be separated, and because regular sunlight was hot, he was willing to bet that the colors of light also had temperature, and he was curious if different light colors had different temperatures. So, um, the things that he needed for his experiment, although he was using sunlight, we're going to use a flashlight. So, um, first thing we need is a prism. Um, so we're going to run light through this. And remember we had talked about light waves, uh, blue being a short wave, green being a little bit longer, red being longer than all of them. Um, we're going to take advantage of that and what a prism does when white light hits it the unusual shape of the prism is able to get each of those light waves to slow down or you know stays you know different speeds and then because they slow and spread they suddenly split into their own defined colors because they're they're hitting that prism that triangular shape and it forces that, those light waves to separate and slow down into their own color categories. Um, so that we're going to do that with the prism. We're also going to be using a piece of cardstock here. The cardstock has a little tiny slit in it. Just a little tiny little slot cut into it. Just enough to let a little bit of light go through there. Okay, so we have that, and then the last thing we have is a flashlight. Now the flashlight, because we're using a flashlight, this one's going to be kind of a key component. Um, you don't want to use an LED light. Don't use a flashlight that has an LED bulb. You want to find a flashlight that has one of the older styles, the incandescent bulbs. Okay, LED bulbs are very good, very energy efficient, uh, but they're often in just one of the color spectrum. So you might see a red LED bulb or a blue LED bulb. The LED bulbs that go into flashlights are usually very much in the blue spectrum. So if you try to run those through a prism, you're only going to get the same color light coming out because it doesn't have the reds and the greens in there to be able to be split and slow down. It's only got one kind of color of light. So the old incandescent bulbs are a mixture of lights, uh, much like our sun, so you're able to get that rainbow effect. Okay, so with this light, uh, we're going to basically take it and focus the beam as we run it through the little slot that's in the paper. It's going to hit the prism, and then we're going to slowly rotate that prism until we start seeing the color spread and separate, okay? So with this part though, what Herschel did is as the sunlight came through and he focused it and ran it through his prisms and stuff, it spread into the rainbow of colors and then he went on to take it the next step. He put thermometers on each of those colors in order to measure the temperature of each of the colors of light. So first thing we want to do is do the rainbow effect so you can see it, and then we're going to talk about the one thing that he did that was a surprise, okay? So when Herschel did his experiment, he had the rainbow effect. He had the different colors going across the spectrum. So he had his red, and then of course red with yellow makes orange, and then blue with yellow makes green, and it goes into the next colors, ultraviolets. Um, and then he took his thermometers and he put them on each of the colors and so on and took measurements of the light hitting there and he did 
find that each of these colors had different temperatures. So here's the one thing that he did that was unexpected. Now, he wanted to make sure, because we had talked about outside environments affecting your experiment. He was very smart, and he said to himself, well, I need to know the temperature of the room that I'm in. So I need to know what the temperature here is in the room. So I'm going to take a thermometer, I'm going to put it over here, right? So on the end of the red spectrum, he just set it off to the side. It wasn't in any of the rainbow color of going through the prism and the nice cool rainbow effect he had. He set it a little bit off to the side because he just wanted to measure the temperature of the room so that he would have a temperature to compare with the light rainbow that he was getting. So here's the thing that happened though. He's taking his measurements, taking his measurements, he's looking at each color, he's doing each of these things, and then he goes to look at his room temperature, and he finds, for some reason, this thermometer was really hot. For some reason, he set it outside what he thought the light spectrum, the light, the color that he could see, he set it outside that, and he thought it was in a safe spot, when in fact, it was actually getting hit by a different type of light that we can't see. Part of the electromagnetic wave. Okay? So, infrared. So these are the colors that we can see when we split it, but there are colors that we can't see. There is light we can't see. And he had stuck this thermometer in the perfect spot to capture a light wave that we can, electromagnetic wave that he could not see, but the thermometer heated up big time, hotter than all the other colors. So he suddenly realized there are waves that we can't see. And he thought that was amazing. So we're gonna take advantage of that today as we do our experiment. So our experiment, we're gonna actually be measuring not the temperature of the light wave, we're going to be measuring paper, the color, as it gets hit by light, and we're going to take that measurement. Okay, so kind of a variation of what he did. Now, in order to do this, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to bring it outside. So when we do this experiment, we're going to try to control our environment a little bit. And so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this board here. And it can be basically any whiteboard. If you had a 1 by 12 uh, that you painted white, uh, you can do that. This is a piece of masonry for laying floor down. So this one here, what we're going to do is we're going to put our little pieces of paper across here, just like a rainbow. yellow, green, blue, into the purples, ultraviolets. And all I'm going to do is just very simply put a little clip to hold that paper in place. Because we don't want it to blow away while it's outside. And of course the next thing we have to consider is, I'm going to probably set this on a table. So I only want really the temperature of the paper, but if I set this on a black table, like the asphalt, the ground could actually bring heat up into it and affect my experiment. If I put it on the concrete, it'll be cooler, but the temperature of the concrete can still throw it off, right? So ideally, we know that dark colors heat up more, light colors are cooler, so I'm going to try to use a white table. I'm going to set it on a white table that's not touching the ground so that I can get a little bit of accurate temperatures with each of these. Okay, so we are now ready to test our colored paper. We will start with red. Now red, part of the infrared, that got really hot during Herschel's experiment.
So red is currently at 111.5. We'll go to orange. Orange drops down to 108. About 108 degrees, 107.9. We go to yellow. We're down to 104 degrees. 104 degrees on yellow. But watch what starts to happen. Green is at 111 and a half. So 111.5. Blue, 115. 115 degrees. And then the purple drops back down to 110. So let's talk about this back inside. Cell explorers. When Herschel did his experiment back in 1800, 200 years ago, he was basically taking the temperature of the light itself. He was taking the temperature of the light as it separated through a prism. So when he had the thermometer, the blue light was hitting it, and that was reading the temperature of the blue light. And when he had the thermometer on the red, he was taking the thermo uh, temperature of the red light. Our experiment was a little bit different. We were not taking the temperature of the light itself. We were taking the temperature of the light being reflected. So we're going to do a little experiment, just one little more little experiment before we continue on with this. I'm going to put a red square behind me and you're going to take just a little piece of white paper. So have white paper in your hand ready to do this. I want you to stare at the red square for about 20, 30 seconds. Longer is okay. Just stare at it, straight at it. Just stare at it and stare at it and stare at it. And then you're going to quickly take your eyes off the red square and look at the white paper and tell me what you see. What will happen is, is you're going to see that red square and then your eyes, when you look at the white paper, there's going to be a green square exactly where that red square was. So you're going to stare at the red square. When you look at your white piece of paper, you're still going to see a square there, but it's going to be green. So here's what happened with our experiment. We would expect it to be similar to Herschel's, where the blue would be the cooler of the colors and red would be the hotter. But when we did our temperature te testing on it, we realized that red was the cooler and the blue was the hottest. So the reverse effect. What happens is this. When we see color, as we talked about earlier, we're seeing the reflection. We're seeing light hit it and it's being reflected to us. The light that hits it, because all the light's still hitting it, all that white light's hitting this, but only the yellow and the blue, making green in this case, is being reflected into our cones and our eyes. Which means, where did the red light go? Well, the red light gets absorbed. Okay? So the red light gets absorbed, and that red light, if, if you remember us talking about it, starts to heat up. Right? So you get the exact opposite effect whenever you're taking the temperature of whatever it's reflecting off of, because in blue's case, the blue light, the cooler light, is being, or the cool, yeah, cooler light is being reflected into our cones. But that red light, the intensity of all the other lights, is going into that blue paper, heating it up. Follow? So the red paper, which we expect would get hottest, because it's red light, but in fact, because it's red, it's reflecting that red light to our eyes. So we see it as red paper, but only the blues and yellows are being absorbed, which are cooler lights. So the paper does not heat up as much as the red light being absorbed into the blue paper. So that's what's happening. Interesting experiment. So 
Hopefully that was a great experiment. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, if you found the experiment useful, certainly usable in uh, science workshops, uh, teaching environments, also for uh, science competitions and things like that, great experiment to do. And there's variations of this you can always do. But if you enjoyed it, if you found it useful, please give us a thumbs up in the uh, little thumb area down below. And then also, uh, if you have a moment, please subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook or Twitter, uh, explorersemporium.com. Thank you for joining us with our, in our STEAM experiment today, uh, measuring temperature of color. And I hope you all have a beautiful day. Stay safe. We'll see you soon.